Hey what's up guys in this video we are going to talk about how we can return one array from the function and there are three ways we can return one array from the function first of all we can use the dynamically allocated array or we can use the static array or we can use the concept of structure so first of all we are going to see how we can use the dynamically allocated array to return one array from the function so first of all we're gonna create one function which will return one pointer and I'm gonna call the function as my function and inside the function we're gonna create one dynamically allocated array using the new keyword so I'm gonna write new int and it will have 10 elements as a size and then I'm gonna access the first element and assign it the value 1 and then we can access the second element with the index 1 and we can assign the value 2 and then we can return that array using the return keyword followed by the name of the array so here we have created one dynamically allocated array called arr which has the initial size as 10 and then we have assigned two values 1 and 2 in the index position 0 and 1 and then we have returned that array from that function now inside the main method i'm gonna call the function my function and because this function will return one pointer so i'm gonna have to store that in the integer pointer p and then i can print the individual array element by using the indexing so i'm gonna write p zero and then one space and then we can print the second element using p1 so i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run the program and you can see the elements 1 and 2 has been printed so in this program we have successfully created one dynamic array with the elements 1 and 2 and then return that from that function and then inside the main method we have used the array indexing to access those individual array elements so now we're gonna use one static array and return that from the function because the static array can return its value during the entire execution of the program and that property help us return that value from the function so first of all I'm gonna create one static array static int my array and it is going to have the size of 10 and then I'm gonna use the array indexing and I'm gonna assign the value 1 in the first index position and then I'm again gonna assign the value 2 in the second index position and then I'm gonna use the return keyword to return that array from the function so first of all I have created one static array and then assigned elements 1 and 2 and then we have returned that array from that function. Now inside the main method the pointer p will hold the reference of that array and then similarly we can use the indexing to access those array elements. So I'm gonna save this program and I'm gonna run the program and you can see the output the array elements has been printed onto the console so this way we can create one static array and we can return that array from the function and similarly also we can use one structure to return the array from the function so first of all i'm going to create one structure called my struct and and which will have one integer array as element with the size 10 and now I'm gonna create one function which will return one structure of my structure type and the name of the function will be fun and inside the function I'm gonna create one structure of my structure type and the object name will be s now I'm gonna use that object and access the array element so I'm gonna access the first element and I'm gonna assign it the value 5 and similarly I'm gonna access the second element and I'm gonna assign it the value 6 and then I'm gonna use the return keyword and I'm gonna return 
structure object is now inside the main method i'm gonna create one object of my structure type s which will hold the return structure from the function call and now i'm gonna use c out and i'm gonna print s dot arr and i'm gonna print the first element and then i'm gonna have one space and after that i'm gonna access the second element s dot arr one and i'm gonna print both of those elements onto the console so now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run the program and you can see the output we have printed the array elements 5 and 6 onto the console so this way we can use one structure which is having one array as member element so we can use that structure and return that array from the function so this way we can either use dynamic array or we can use static array or even we can use one structure to return one array from the function so hope you understand the concept We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.